I'm coming! here today at the Gundagai Cemetery. I'm gonna walk around and get a feel for whatever I'm being told to do by the spirit world or whatever power is there. We have little Jessie Irene here, nine weeks old, and Ivy who is 10 months old. Oh my god! Oh my god, look what I found! It's ghostly findings paranormal! Oh, look, it's unearthly wanderings! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Just wandering around, funny running into Where'd you, you here! <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of silly of me. I sat down to take a couple of photos and didn't check first. So now I've got a wet bum. <laughs> once again for one of those inspirational kind of talks that we have from time to time. I uh, haven't done this for a couple of vlogs and so I thought I would go ahead and have a chat with you guys and share some of my inner wisdom reflecting on my time so far with Jackie. 
I'm getting a lot from having her here. Day to day for me, I have my children here and I don't really have a lot of other adults to talk to besides my dad and a few other passing people. So having Jackie here and being able to sit down at night time and have a laugh and a chat, share a joke, just kind of bond with each other has been an amazing experience. It's the small things that change our lives so much. When Jackie first told me she was coming down, I thought that, you know, it's it's a good time for her. She's just had so much sorrow in her life with her mother's passing and everything going on that she needed that break. She needed that holiday. And I was honored that she wanted to spend the holiday with me and my family. Uh, meant a lot to me and she came down and I really wanted to be that support for her, that friend. And I know that sometimes when we lose someone, especially a parent or someone who played such a big role in our lives, it can be devastating. The role that I played was letting her know that I was here if she needed to talk but giving her opportunities to take her mind off it. Having a joke, um, sharing a laugh, going out and doing things with her all the time and, and sharing, like making memories together, but helping to relieve the stress that she was feeling from everything going on. And I didn't realize it until I sat down and really thought about it was that I got so much out of this you because this has been a breath of fresh air. It really has. I have enjoyed every minute thus far and thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that all of you out there are doing okay. And uh, if you're waking up every day and you're wondering what you're doing with your life, you're wondering why you're not moving forward, why you're miserable, why you um, never have anything or can never get anything done. Start taking pleasure in the small things and work your way up from there. Start changing things in your life and do things that make you happy. Be with people that make you happy. Do the things that you really want to do that you enjoy and small steps. You can't change everything overnight, but gradually it will change and it will make a huge difference in your life. I've come some, from some pretty dark times and I look back on my life now and even though I still have bumps in the road, I'm so grateful for the friends, for you guys, for my family, my children and my health. Blessed be guys, I love each and every one of you and thank you for listening.